It is December 9th. My surgery was November 17th. I know for a fact that my pathology report was submitted to my doctor last Friday because it pushed through to my chart and I have had my phone on me like crazy. It's been attached to my hip. So I was able to pull it up and see the results and then it was taken down about 30 minutes later. My surgeon oncologist did call me on Monday night but I missed his phone call. He said he'd call back the next day, never did. And then I, I think I might charted them on Wednesday and then Wednesday morning and then called them Wednesday night or evening and then grew super impatient yesterday. And so I called them last night and I know that they've read my my chart. I can see that. So I'm really hoping I hear back from them today, mostly just because I want to know what next steps are. I want to be able to process that over the next couple weeks because I don't think I'm even ready if radiation is the next step. I, my pelvis is not ready for that. I'm actually having a lot of pain again and I think it's mostly because I'm just probably increasing my activity a little bit too much. I do want to talk to my doctor about that. Also my like pelvic bone area is swelling a bit. I have a little bit of concerns there. I just want to hear my pathology report. <laughs> It's weird that this is literally my body's pathology and I have no access to it right now. It kind of drives me crazy. I think because I am such an advocate for my own health and I know why they take it down. I, I know that they don't want you researching and doing all your own stuff and they, they want to give you the results on their own. I talked to somebody this week. I think it was Tuesday I talked to a nurse and she's not my doctor's normal nurse who organizes all this stuff. She has been on vacation, but this nurse, she called me back for something else. And I said, I saw my pathology report and she, then she kind of started going over it with me and she said, oh yeah, it's fine. And I'm like, no, it's not. And she kept going, she goes, oh yeah. And then she kind of read off the, what it was, which I'm waiting to say uh, until I talk to my doctor. But I was just like, oh, had I not already seen it myself had I gotten the no you don't have cancer then my doctor called me later to tell me that there was cancer how devastating would that be fortunately for me I've been in this world for a long time man the amateur would probably have a lot of anxiety after that kind of just feeling drained and I have a market tonight and I have a market all day tomorrow and then I'm going to the Nutcracker on Sunday with my sister-in-laws and my nieces and my mom. So I think it's gonna be a really busy weekend and by Sunday night, I am going to be exhausted. Monday, I have no plans. I don't even think I'm going to work other than maybe work on some video stuff. I need to try to give myself full days off to just relax still because I am only three weeks out of pretty major surgery. Let's cross our fingers that I get pathology report back today so that I can go into the weekend with a bit of peace of mind and not have to deal with this overwhelming sense of anxiety, just wanting to know so I can prepare mentally for the next steps. I guess it's good. It's not like super serious, although I think that all cancer is pretty serious, but it's not like life or death and I don't need to get in right away. So that's good news. Buddy, that's really loud. Finger scratchy. Hey, what are you doing? So I will update you when I know more. It's Monday morning, nine o'clock. Never heard from my doctor on Friday. I don't know what to do. And I'm frustrated, feeling very forgotten. <sighs> I'm gonna give it to today and then tomorrow I'm gonna call the office. I don't wanna be put through to his nurse's voicemail again. I need you to deliver a message to him. And I also thought that maybe if he's this busy that maybe he could just refer me to an oncologist that isn't as busy. I just wanna feel like I'm being taken care of. I'm going to distract myself today and hopefully I hear from him. So my doctor called me about an hour ago. Honestly, I don't remember everything that he said because I kind of just went blank. So it is endometrial cancer. 
Uh, it is squamous cell. He does think that this is the primary spot of my last cancer because the last one was metastatic cancer of an unknown primary in my lymph node. It is Lynch related. So the next steps now are to go in and see the radiation oncologist to see that if I can have radiation, there is a chance that I may not be able to because I've already had radiation in my pelvis on my left side. So if they can, can't can figure out a creative way to go in there, then I won't be able to have radiation and I will just do chemotherapy. If I can have radiation, I will do radiation plus a small dose of chemotherapy. And the reason being that given my history and that this isn't my first time with cancer, he just doesn't know if there's other cells in there. He doesn't think there's any other active like large tumors, but there very likely could be cells. So I just need to process this now and uh, sit with it a bit. It's hard accepting that I have to do chemotherapy and or radiation, obviously, but I'll say I want to do what is best for me and the longevity of my life and I'll do what is recommended by my doctor because again I believe that he has my best interest at heart. He is one of the best gynecological oncologists in Seattle and I, I trust him. And by the way he wasn't getting back to me because he was out of town. So good lesson in being patient. <laughs> I am just kind of hanging out today and resting and I had to take apart my niece's wall hanging because it got all, the the warp got all stretched out or it came off the bottom part. So I'm starting this over today. I'm also doing a website update that will be sent out tonight to my newsletter. Tonight is Monday. You guys, it will make no difference for you because I won't get this video up in time most likely. But by the time you are watching this, there are new pieces up on my website. I'll link it below. And then I might go Christmas shopping later and grocery shopping and hang out today. I don't know. I'm very numb right now. I think that since it, it just took so long to hear back from them, although I know it was still happening, I think I just kind of pretended like it wasn't. I don't know, I think because I've already had radiation, I can visualize what that is like. I know what that is like. The chemotherapy aspect, I'm really gonna, I'm really having a hard time wrapping my head around. Yeah, that's gonna probably take a while. I did make it very clear that I don't wanna lose my hair. So, we are, we are as if I'm doing anything. He is going to talk to me more about that when I go in. I will go in once I hear from radiology and go see them and we'll kind of put together the whole plan that way. I really don't want to lose my hair. I know it's so silly, but I don't. <laughs> it's just such like, I really love my hair. I'm gonna start working on a video about being single and chronic illness and dating. So that's been on my mind a lot lately and I have a lot to say about it. For now, I am just gonna get back to doing my stuff for today and see where the day takes me. Oh, it's very bright. You know what I wanna do? I wanna do a project. I want to renovate my laundry room. That'll keep my mind busy. There's still a lot of little ducks I need to get in a row before treatment even would begin. So that's it. I am also gonna work on some new furniture pieces this week. I feel more comfortable getting started with that stuff again. I feel incredibly supported and loved and it's just really amazing. And I am so grateful and overwhelmed by the generosity that has kind of en enveloped me and just held me. So for the rest of the day, I'm gonna work on my website, that updated, and just hang out because I am so tired. And I'm just gonna relax and just take it day by day and not put any pressure on myself. But I am gonna start on this laundry room makeover and document this so I will have a fun transformation video coming soon. I'm excited about that. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe, like this video, comment below. I really love hearing from you makes me feel like this is more of a community so leave a comment i will talk to you next time all right bye